Hi everyone, it's Jackie Williams and I want to share with you a project today using the Beautiful Moments stamp set. Now, as many of you know, this is a very special stamp set to me. This is one that is inspired by my daughters and my relationship with them. Also inspired by uh, living in New Zealand with some of the beautiful birds that we have in New Zealand, the butterflies, and a mountain that is here where I live called Rangitoto. Although I'm probably not saying that ethnically totally correct, but I'm doing my best. And the project I want to share with you today is a set of three note cards. So we have the first one with the older sister and uh, younger sister or mother child or any any relationship like that and then the two young girls on a beach and then the young lady in a field of flowers so first i want to go through and show you the stamping because the the neat thing about this particular project or set of three cards is that it uses every single image in this stamp set so it's really great for you as a customer to make use of everything that you've bought. It's also great if you are a demonstrator because you can then show your customers how to use everything in the stamp set. So what I'm going to show you is one way to use them, but of course you can change them and create the scenes um, on each of your projects as suits you the best. So I'll set those aside. So bear with me while we just do the stamping, but I want to just talk you through uh, what all the different things mean and, and are. Oops, sorry. So let's start with the uh, two young girls. So I'm using stays on with this project. So we're going to stamp that down here in the lower right hand corner and I am using shimmer white paper like so. And then I did do the birds, just kind of up here. And of course you can do more. The reason why I ask for the birds is because birds are the main wildlife in New Zealand. And also because the little birds and the butterflies are great for just kind of filling out a scene or for co covering any little marks that you didn't want there. Then we're gonna do the masking technique. So what I've done here is I've stamped the little girls on a piece of copy paper, or this is a post-it note, and then cut out at least part of the image and lay that over top of the image like so. And then I'm gonna use Rangitoto. You don't have to put the mountain in this one, but I just am. And I found that it looked best if you have the bump of the mountain so that that's showing and that you run it in that little gap there so that it, um, it looks fairly continuous. There we go. And then when you remove that mask, you can see that the mountain is behind them. Okay. So that's, uh, and then the words. Let's mix it up. How about let's do this one. Um, we can do this one. Be your somebody's blessing. So we'll put that one about here. The collect beautiful moments words is also perfect with this, with the little buckets. Okay, now let's do the young lady with the flowers. So we'll put her also over in the right hand corner. Like so. And with this one, I used, there is a, 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 excuse me, a single image of the same flowers that I'm gonna use with her just to make this scene or this image just that little bit bigger. You can have it running all the way across your car or you can just make it look like she's standing on a little hill as you wish. And with this one, I think I might just add a little butterfly as well, like so. Okay, then this one, Let's put the collect beautiful moments with this because she is collecting the flowers, so it's suitable. All right. And then the very last one, we'll do the mother and child or the, sorry, I keep doing that, or the older sister or auntie and niece 
Now this, this image is a little taller than the other one, so you wanna stamp that one kind of clear down to the bottom if possible. And we'll do thinking of you with, with this one. So we're using all the words. Now, like I said, you can put the different words on the different ones as you wish. And if you want, you can take those single flowers again and you can just add those to this image as well. Um, you might just sneak a few of those in the middle there and put some down here as well. So we've got flowers on that one too. And we'll do the little side butterfly and the little full butterfly on that one as well. Okay, so that's all of our stamping, or at least for the card fronts. Of course, you'll wanna stamp inside your card and on your envelope as well. Now, I'm not gonna do all the watercoloring on this video because it would then take about half an hour, but I just wanna show you a few things for a little, few little tips. First of all, um, people often say to me that doing like, for example, on this one, this, this blue wash in the background, they find quite hard to do. So I'm going to show you a little tip. You can use any of the pale blues, even Seaside Spray is pretty. It does look a little more stormy than the blues, but it's there's nothing wrong with that, it's pretty. So my tip is to take your aqua painter and make sure it's fairly wet, but of course not dripping or anything. And then just go ahead and get your paper wet without any color on it to begin with. Okay, then you will squeeze your ink pad, open it up. I actually have a little drop of ink refill in here. I might just move those so don't get ink on those. And then just pick up your color and you don't want a lot. So you, you see how I watered it, maybe you can't, watered it down quite a bit. And then you're just gonna start washing. Now, because you've already gotten it wet, the color will move easier. Now you notice I'm not worrying too much about coloring over that butterfly or coloring over the, okay, obviously I can't paint and talk at the same time. Now you can go a little darker, but I would let it dry before you put on more because if you get it too wet your paper will start to shred although this shimmer paper does do much better with water than your standard whisper white but not as well as the watercolor paper now um sorry i just need a little bit more there you'll notice that i went ahead and colored right over the butterfly and i also colored right over those flowers because it's quite pale so you just need to make sure that you go over your butterfly and your flowers with um, less diluted ink or a darker color so that it will just kind of go cover over the top. I think that's way easier than trying to paint like in between all of those. Okay, so that's one tip. So you go around and do that on all of those. Um, the main tip with watercoloring is that you want to make sure that it's dry in between all of your layers. So if I have done her, I wouldn't go ahead and immediately do her dress because if the wet dress paint touches the wet uh, background paint, then they will tend to merge. Just looking for a color here. Now I'm using my ink pads in the lids. Uh, you can also use your ink refills and just do a drop and dilute it down. Now for your skin color, Either one of these will work, but just very watered down, or you can even mix the two. It just depends how pink or how brown you want your skin to end up looking. Sorry, I need to get a little more on that. So I would just pick up a very small bit there and just paint on, okay, maybe a little more, paint on her skin. And then I could even let that dry and go over it a tiny bit with a little layer of crumb cake if I wanted. It's still very, you can't even see that pale, but you get the idea on how to do the skin color. Those two work quite well. Um, <clears throat> now also with this mountain, which of course this little mountain you could put behind any of these images. I just thought it was particularly suitable with the buckets because they are must be going to the beach or on the beach. And Rangi Toto is actually an island here. So it is, let me find that finished one again. 
it actually in reality looks something like this where it's an island and then there's ocean and then um, there are lots of beaches that one could be standing on. However, if you want it to be a mountain scene, you could just paint all of this brown or green, like or brown and then a bit of green um, so that there's no ocean in between and that, that would also work. Okay, so I'm just gonna put, paint that in. So what I did is I just kind of eyeballed, oh, I will have it go to about there. And then don't forget you need to do these little in between bits, but not on her hand. And then in here, and then if you've brought it down that far, you need to do that far down far in between them as well. And then in between there. So something like that. And then I would let that dry. And then I would go ahead and then paint the, uh, the blue part for the ocean and then the beach underneath them. But again, like I said, you can paint it differently to create quite different looks. It doesn't have to be an island and a beach. Okay, then I think from there, that's all kind of the watercoloring tips. Basically, you just need to let that dry and then do the next thing and then the next thing. Now on these particular cards that I, uh, or these samples that I created here, everything is white or black. So then you have the option of coloring them in any colors you want. There's nothing that you need to match them to. So. You can make it very specific if you're, you know, matching someone's favorite dress or someone's favorite color. Now, the reason why I put the ribbon down the side on this one was because, like I mentioned, this image is quite a bit taller than the other, and the ribbon just seemed a bit close. Um, but you could do it. You could make these a little bit um, longer if you wanted. Um, and then on this one, I added some rhinestones. I did use the Pretty Peacock ones from the Pretty Peacock rhinestones, or you can use your standard rhinestones and color them in with the dark Pretty Peacock stamp and blend. And then I used my fine tip glue and just did a little, some little waves in the water and added some glitter. And then on this one, I added a little glitter around the butterflies and then a little bit on the flowers as well. And the last thing I wanna show you is actually how to do the ribbon, unless you have a way that you like. So what I've done is I just kinda of measure it and so it's about that much longer than your card. So you've got, I don't know, like five inches longer than what you need or to go across the card. And then I tie it into a knot where it's right over left and then left over right, and then I pull the right one through. Unless you have a, a way that you tie knots, or just tie a knot. Don't focus too much on how to tie the knot, and focus more on, let me just trim that nicely. The fact that what you're doing is tying it in a knot in a loop like that, okay? Then we're gonna cut it at about nine o'clock and I don't have this matted onto a black. Obviously need to finish coloring this, but just for the ribbon demonstration purposes. So then I've cut the loop and now I'm just gonna lay it down on my card front like so and tape it around the back. Now I, would strongly recommend that you don't use glue or anything wet when it comes to your ribbons. Just use tape or even glue dots, but nothing wet, okay. And then you could even put a little glue dot, that one's not laying just how I want it. You could even put a little glue dot underneath that knot if you wanted so that it would stay. Okay, so it's just taped around the back there. All right. So that's that's how you do the the ribbons. I think that's an easy way and it doesn't and it uses less ribbon. And then of course, stamp up your envelopes to match. Um I wouldn't suggest you try and color those. This is thin whisper white and it you could maybe do a little bit of color, but it doesn't color as well as the shimmer. And then inside the card, you can just do repeat some of the little images 
from the front, some of the accent images. So, all right, I hope you enjoy that and I hope that you give this, this a try. Some really nice cards you can stamp up and then paint in while you're watching a, a movie. And I do hope you enjoy using the Beautiful Moments stamp set. So this is Jackie, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.